this county. Very difficult situations. And before even we discuss all these issues, what they are doing. Thank you, Manager. Once again, before I have you, I hand over there. My position has been the people. Um, ten. Our chief guests. Education. Where is Colin? The government of the Elgeo Marathon, led by the government. We want to. The uh, national government of Kenya has pledged five million uh, US dollars per year for the next five years, so $25 million in total, uh, to fight doping in Kenya. Um, the AIU has come here and has been asked by the government to work with Athletics Kenya and with the Anti-Doping Agency of Kenya um, to make a plan and a strategy for how to spend those funds. And uh, a very important part of that planning is to come to the community itself, to come to the athletes, uh, to speak to the coaches and to the support personnel, to hear about their experiences, uh, their ideas uh, to solve this problem. The real cultural change has to come from the community itself and um, that's why I was encouraged today because I saw the spirit, um, I saw the desire um, to restore the, rep the reputation of, um, of E10 and of Kenyan athletics. So this year big increase in testing happening in, in Kenya, big increase in the investigations. Um, all uh, government agencies uh, will be mobilised in this fight, um, the law enforcement, um, the regulatory agencies. The government of Kenya um, uh, has also come in very, very strongly uh, and, and you have heard that um, they have donated some good amount of money to fight this menace of doping uh, and, and so we are all talking the same language, all of us now. So let us all fight, including the media. Can we all be fighting these things so that within a very short time, we come out of this and we allow our athletes to go and run, run clean, run fairly, and um, continue bringing glory to this country of ours. And as a county government, we've agreed with the main stakeholders who are our athletes that we will be registering all our athletes, we will be registering all the coaches, we will be registering all the camps and we've agreed that our camps will no longer be private because we want to get to the athletes that even the private will allow us to be able to get into and listen to the athletes we believe we've had a long time on matters doping but it is high time that we stand as a county that we will be a clean sport county Caroline Jacobs gay mimi ni athlete hapa iten na Hii mkutano imekuwa ya maana kabisa kwa sababu tumekuwa na AIU, CEO wa AIU, tumekuwa na Athletics Kenya na tumekuwa na Athletes pia. So hii mkutano imekuwa ya maana kwa sababu wamekuja kujumuika nasi ili wajue shida ya mambo ya doping inaanzia wapi na jinsi ya kusulisha hii ishu ya doping among athletes. Uh, for me as an athlete, I would uh, advise the county government to work closely with the athletes and they will know what the problems are and uh, that, will, that in short they will know what the root cause for doping is. Um, uh, I was accused of doping, uh, EPO, and I call it falsely and I, I still stand my, my feet, but I don't want to take that because it might aggravate I mean, my future and, and even the fight. That the, the, the athletics integrity unit is doing in, in globally in a kind of doping. Now, period, one hour window period is a little bit challenging because you never know when the tester comes. They don't say when they come, that is obvious and it is good. But also, we have our own negligence as athletes because we don't, uh, sometimes you didn't come yesterday, you didn't come the lab, I mean, since last month. I think if you are an AK official, you should not be having, you should be not having owning any, any camp. So that because AK is an independent body, I think it is abided by the law. It is an independent body. So if you are independent, I think you should not be coaching any athletes. You should be having on your own.